Show for Joe after the fight, and then the number you have dialed has been called. The new number is Hello Q96! Can I take that money to Q96? Q96! Q96! It was the mighty Q that brought Joe together with a young lady from Falkirk who had become his radio wife for nearly six years. Joe Kilday's full prize. Delicious. She really does my head in. I think that's a bit too rocky and dramatic for me. No. Oh. Be more. More, more one. She wakes me up and then she go go. Scotland's real good. Real good. Feel good music. Real radio. It was only a matter of time before the double act of Joe Kilday and Luscious Lynn Hogan found its way to a bigger audience. And on Scotland's most listened to radio station, Real Radio, the troublesome twosome made the evening show their own and woke up the central bell each weekend on the Real Breakfast Show. Joe and Lynn, on the Joe's doing national TV voiceover. This morning, going sexy with Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. It's time to sex up your life. Oh yeah, and he's just launched a brand new breakfast show with Nikki Reed on the station where it all began. So 103.1 Central FM, it is the breakfast show with Joe and Nikki. Are you going to play a song? What? I don't know, that song came from nowhere. Oh, okay. It came from Sugar Babes, but obviously not with your knowledge. I don't know, I'm Sugar Babes, it's played there. Good We'll give you uh, another idea of what to avoid, and you can, you know, even if you're listening at home at the moment, you can be thinking to yourself, you can be doing, what's that in the background? Is that a bus going by? That's my, um... Twenty years and five minutes. What next for Mr. Joe, I wonder? Well, I suppose if the radio thing doesn't work out, you can always do stand up. Hey, Billy. Well, it's very much a radio thing. If the keyboard comes up, Mr. Joe, you probably can't wait. What's the time you do for? Okay. Yeah. Let's hear it for Joe! Hey! Yes. Joe, a man of many words. I think he's like to say some words just now. I'm going to ask him to hear it. Thank you very much. What's your name? Thank you very much indeed. That was a big surprise. That, I have to say, um, uh, 20 years and 5 months, my oh god, quick. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to say thanks Gillian for, for putting this on tonight, it's marvellous. And actually I think... Let's hear it for Gillian, she's been so stressed this year. You would not believe how stressed she has been. Hiding it all from you Joe as well. But looking under the table, all the presents, thanks for all the presents tonight, I think we're in clear profit tonight. <laughs> Same time next year? Oh, uh, thanks very much to everybody who's made it out. We've had people coming from Ireland, Gary's coming from Ireland, we've people all over the place. Um, Barry Mallorca. Barry's from Mallorca. <laughs> Mallorca, is he? Do you have a place there? Eh? <laughs> is that available? <laughs> um, I've got three radio wives here tonight as well. I've got Mary and Maz, and uh, I've got, of course, Lush in the back there. And Nikki is my latest victim. As well. Uh, friends and family, I won't take up your time, so I know there's music to be had and what have you. Uh, thanks very much indeed for coming tonight. It's lovely to see you all. And that was a lovely little tribute, thank you. Although happy was no problem. <laughs> uh, thanks, Wilfred, for putting that together again. Lovely. Excellent. Thanks very much, everybody. Enjoy your night. I think Jerry wants to say a few words. Is that right? No, you don't want to say a few words. 
Okay, last shot. Are we ready to do the official party for the yes. night? Is everyone ready to get up on the dance floor? Yes. Oh, what? Who was that? Is everyone ready to get up on the dance floor? Could we possibly dim the lights? Could a lovely friendly bar staff get those lights dimmed? Because we're ready. Have a great night tonight, folks. Enjoy the party. Thank you.